Let's make this cute little turkey place card holder for your Thanksgiving table. The supplies that you're going to need are Model Magic Clay, and I'm using this brown, I think it's called Earth Tone, and then orange, red, and yellow for the feathers. You can, of course, use whatever colors you'd like. Elmer school glue, some fabric scissors for your felt, and then two just little tiny scraps of red and then this like goldish yellow. A little piece of paper for your name cards, two googly eyes, a clothespin, and then this circle wooden base for the bottom. And I got it in these variety shapes at Hobby Lobby. So they had some ovals, some, you know, different shapes in there. So we're going to start with the turkey body and his head. So we're going to start with the turkey body and his head. So I'm going to and I'm just going to roll the head into a circle. And then the base of his body is just a bigger circle. And then we'll kind of shape it as we go. For his body, I'm trying to make the bottom flat and then keep the sides and the front rounded. And I want the bottom flat so he doesn't fall over when he's on your table. And then I'm just going to attach his head and you'll just have to play around with the sizing. I think it's about the, si the height of your clothespin. So just play around with that. And then you'll want to let that dry completely if possible. And we'll do the feathers and then we'll let those dry also. So the feathers are you just need the tiniest bit of red, orange, and yellow. And we're gonna do these like leaf shapes that are pretty thin. So they're pointy on the top and the bottom and then a little wider in the middle. And then you'll just continue with all of your colors. I use six leaves, two of each color. Go ahead and let your pieces dry. And then we'll move on to the clothespin with the googly eyes and the felt. So you'll need a beak cut out of your goldish yellow color. And I'm just cutting a triangle, making sure it fits on my clothespin and then just rounding off the corners. And then for the, I think it's called a waddle, I think, gobble gobble, I don't know. Um, you'll want to cut kind of a wavy um, side, just kind of a long piece. With kind of uneven edges. And then I like to tuck that behind the beak. And then we'll glue the eyes on, the beak, and then that red part. I'm just using Elmer School Glue, and I'm going to pretty much cover the, the whole, almost the whole front of it.
For my googly eyes, they're pretty big. They hang off the edges, so you can use smaller ones if you like or if you don't mind them hanging off. So now we have our turkey pieces all dried, and now we're going to glue it all together. I'm just going to lay out my feathers the way that I like them, making sure they are all covered by the body. And then I'm going to glue them to the back. So Model Magic sticks to itself, but for this project I liked to glue it on because it gives me a little bit more control when they're dry. And this is just a little bit trial and error, just kind of seeing how you like them placed on the back of your turkey. So you can glue on your clothespin, and you'll want that the bottom of that clothespin to be even with the base of your turkey body, so it's not going to tip over. And then we'll let that dry completely, and then we can add the base. I, I'm not letting mine dry, but like I said before, it'll be a lot easier if you let it dry, and then you can add the base. So to add the base, you're just going to glue the bottom and add your wooden circle. And so there you have your finished turkey and then you can add, once everything's dry, you can add your name cards and then add it to your Thanksgiving table.